Hi, my name is Jane A. William. This is the Fulton Art Festival. Um, it's very hot. I'm really nervous and I don't know what I'm about to say next, um, but my art's here and it's a really nice day. So um, I come from Art and Design High School. I'm 16 years old. So uh, if you're an artist really and you want to show all your artwork, you can come here and yeah, just have a great time. Hi, I'm the same person from last time. Um, I want to show you my artwork, which is right here. Um, this first one is called Venezuela. Um, I was influenced by uh, Michelangelo. Um, if you're an art history fanatic like me, then you would probably know that person. So the second one here is, um, is a portrait of Tove Lu. She's a pop singer and also does trap music. Um, if anyone knows her or a fan of her, will probably recognize her face. Um, the third one is a uh, portrait of Kanye West. Um, if you're uh, a Yeezys fan, you'll probably uh, like it to stare at it. Um, and these two, the smaller ones on the left, um, the, this one right here is a comic cover. Uh, that I created in school, um, but uh, unfortunately in school I got a zero for this, but it's an art show, so I guess the joke's on my teacher. Um, this was also digital artwork. Um, this is just a cover of the character from the series that was assigned to us. Um, the the uh, uni mask with the yellow background right here. Uh, I am very obsessed with uni masks because they can either push away bad spirits on New Year's or they can bring bad spirits and I am also very interested in gas masks. They're very interesting and I have a collection of them. I try to combine the both and I made this character and currently I'm trying to decide to make him my character for my story I'm working on right now. Uh, the last one right here was an assignment how, fa how fast you can draw this man sitting in front of us. I was able to draw this picture in I think about 15 minutes exactly. Um, this was made uh, just by a pencil um, this is like one of my best pieces because I was about 14 when I drew this and this really stood out to me and knew that I was able to extend my artwork through realism, which is my favorite uh, type of style. So, um, If you would like to reach out to me and uh, have me create any work for you um, from anime to realism, to uh, a copy of something or a portrait of your friends or family, um, you can reach out to me by jna13 at gmail or you can call by my number 917-549-5070. Um, and yeah, uh, if you're an artist, you can come here. Uh, I think it happens about once a year, I think. Um, you can come and show your artwork and be up here on camera, nervous like me, so yeah. My name is Otto Niels. I've been associated with the Fulton Art Fair for, for all of its 58 years. In 1958, a businesswoman, Shirley Hawkins, conceived the idea of promoting art in the community here in Bed-Stuy at Fulton Park. She contacted Jacob Lawrence and Ernie Critchlow, who became the co-directors of the Fulton Art Fair. There were a number of other artists that would become prominent also that took part. Tom Feelings, Richard Mayhew, Vincent Smith, Vivian Skyler Key, Anna Imala, and many, many other artists. Welcome to the Fulton Art Fair. And in fact, the very first one, 58 years ago, me and my family participated in that. I didn't think it was going to go on this long. I mean, because uh, some of them weren't even born yet. <laughs> I'm not but it, but it uh, held up good on all these years. And um, 
has a lot of the, lot of the artists that started off and they've passed on, but their work is still around. Like right across the street, they had the mural done by Ernest Critchlow. And uh, that, that's, in fact, that makes the whole building look some better. But, um, and, and it was, it was quite a, a long journey that the Fulton Art Fair took, because I know it was a very hard for, to get a permit to use the park and, and uh, Surly Hawkins, she was a businesswoman. She, uh, she managed to get it, you know, get it for us. And we've been going on ever since. In fact, at some some years, uh, uh, artists went all around the block, the whole from down put uh, Stuyvesant Avenue, all up uh, Chauncey Street. But they're trying to get it, you know, get enough young people now because all the ones in my generation now they're they're mostly gone. But but we're still hanging in there. Because my, because my mind, my family, my sisters and brothers and my father, <laughs> he was in it too. He used to, he was in the first art fair and a few more after that. So that's how long that I've been <laughs> in, uh, associated with the fair. I've seen a lot of changes in it, but it's, it's a, uh, as you could see, it's still going strong. Yeah, that's a mother and child. African mother and child, which I did a few like that. And uh, the, and the second one, she, uh, yeah. Well, that's a carnival girl. That was a uh, uh, the Caribbean carnival time, and you used to have all those different costumes and stuff, and the little kids participated. That that's just a portrait of a young girl which I uh, see a lot of you know folks seem to like paintings of that they can hang in their living room even if it's not a portrait of someone they know they it, 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 they look like they always end up by looking like someone they know <laughs> I was just trying a different technique which I So that's about all I can say about that one. I'm just trying different, uh, different styles and different techniques. Oh, I have been told that I don't do enough boys, and, and now and when I come to think of it, they were right. So that's why I make sure that every exhibit I have, I have at least one or two boys in it to show that I'm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, uh, I know a lot of fathers like that picture because it looked like their son with the cap turned backwards, see? And then that's a typical little black boy that I figure that uh, most everyone will sort of uh, so associate with it. Oh, is this a portrait of a young girl? Um, I don't remember what the name of it was. But uh, that, that's a lot, lot of, uh, of things that also reminds most everyone of someone they know. <laughs> oh, that's a young girl with a turban. And that also shows a, a little difference in the technique from the one it was shown previously and you and I also have a try to have as much of a variety of different children and adults it's, since that's how our race is uh, it's a very very much of a variety of different uh, and that's what I try to uh, bring out in some of my draw paintings it's a diversity of uh, the black race. Okay, well, Violet Chandler, 
you can contact me if you like on Meredith Chandler's Facebook and any information you want you can get from her if you yeah, Meredith Chandler's Facebook page. Yes, Mer that's why I said Meredith Chandler, my daughter, her Facebook page. You could get any information you want to know about any art or anything you might be interested in or, or want or, or want to see more of it. So that's it. Hello, my name is Bria. I'm eight and I like this painting. Uh, this is my favorite painting. I like John. I draw. I like to dance. Come here and buy the paintings. What up? My name is Austin Franklin, also go by Aislinn. I am from Brooklyn, grew up in Bed-Stuy. It's my first time being on live TV. But you don't get through this, it's gonna be dope. Um, I've been doing art since I was born practically, came out the womb with a pen, pencil in hand, and I love art, it's my passion. Live it, breathe it, sweat it. So I'm here doing my thing. I got art on display, now I'm gonna show that to you right now. All right, so this piece right here is a, um, I don't want to say portrait, but it is of my parents. I did this as a late Christmas gift two years ago. They didn't know I was working on it, so when they got it, they were like really surprised. I did this in um, colored pens, and this took me a long time to do it, but in the end, it all paid off because they were happy, I'm happy, everyone's happy, so. This piece right here is my um, interpretation of the um, whole yin yang thing. This is actually a project I did during my junior year of high school and was my junior portfolio cover. Before, before I came up with this, I had like a whole different thing going on, but I didn't, but I didn't really enjoy the original concept and my teacher was like, eh. So I had to come up with something else real quick and this is the product of a lot of thinking and just one bad concept. This is a um, ink drawing of a two-point perspective bedroom. Like the other piece, it's also a project I did during my junior year of high school. Back then, I wasn't really big on perspective, so some of the lines look wonky, but I tried to save myself by making it look good. And regardless if the perspective wasn't all that good, I still got a nice grade on that project. So everything worked out. And this piece right here is a piece that I was commissioned to do. The concept and creators are, and the concept and the characters are all my own. Sadly, the client did not come to pick this piece up. So I still have it, but I did get paid for it. These three pieces down here, I did um a few months ago. These are oil paintings and still lifes. My first time working with oil paint. And to my surprise, they came out really good. The one on the left is a still life of a um, new model. The one in the middle, fruit bottle setup. And the one at the end is also, it's also the model, different model from the first one. Like I said before, first time doing oil paints, and I'm pleased with the product. And that's it for my artwork. Hope you enjoyed what I have on display. Okay, my name is Austin Franklin. I just showed you my artwork, and I hope you all enjoyed the show. You can contact me at franklinaustin96 at gmail.com. I'm on Instagram at underscore ace lynn underscore hi my name is melanie lynn and i am an artist of brooklyn new york i am also known as a fashion designer as well jewelry maker um i am a graduate of art and design as well as um 
experience creator. Um, my artwork is um, a reflection of spirit. Hi, this painting um, is called Spirit Moves. And it is my first painting that I did when I transit, transitioned from uh, designing clothing. I, I was painting on the clothing and it, the painting kept moving me <laughs> on the clothing. The painting that I, was clothing, uh, that I was painting on the clothing kept moving me to paint on canvas. And this is called Spirit Moves because it gave me my answer through it. And this is the one that came through. And I find that when I display it, it does the same thing. It, it, it just captures people's spirit and they stop and they kind of get really caught in the feeling of it. So, um, it is a mixed media and I like putting different things on my artwork. I just like my spirit to move me to work my art. And, um, take, it, it's very, very intense. <laughs> this, uh, is, um, uh, abstract is something I've always wanted to do. And, uh, I have, uh, I specialize, well, I will say, I love working on black paper, starting with the void and coming up with an abstract and a picture of an art of something that is, is created from nothing becomes something and I love color against the black as well. So this one is a version of abstract cool. um, and it's called My Last Drag. In life, we all um, decide we're gonna put something down and move on to another thing. This one is called um, Ancient and Now. And what this painting is very similar technique as the first painting. <laughs> um, the reason it's called Ancient and Now, it you know just took me as spirit just moved me into the ancient times of, of what I felt African beauty uh, enhanced and somehow the color blue just kind of dictated this painting uh, it's a little three-dimensional and um, the feathers I included as amber as the rich culture of, of Africa um, the, takes status and um, the fullness of the lips just says a lot okay this next one I call modern Africa and it is um, on black paper with acrylics it's um, a cross between ancient African and now you know uh, we are now wearing our hairstyles that um, in ancient times, I believe they wore as well. And the colors also show um, the strength of our Africanness, which we have today. And um, I just love those colors popping off a of black paper. This is called Majestic. The name itself says a lot. A majestic person with strength in the eyes and the abstract just just took it I let spirit take me there and this also is um, acrylic paint and my spirit was really trying to show the strength of a black man in all ways shapes and forms hi it's Melanie Lynn again and I'd like to leave my contact I'm at this Fulton Street Art Fair Art on the Fence and um, if you like what you see, I can also be, I can be reached at mlynndivinedesigns at gmail or my number is 646-458-1856. I'd love to hear from you. Even if you just have comments on my work, give me a call. Hi, I'm Abdul Badi. 
Uh, I've been exhibiting here at the Fulton Art Fair for the last 27 years. I think I may have missed one show in all that time. This is uh, one of my favorite shows of the years. I do many shows, but this one, this got my heart. Uh, here's some of my work. Okay, this first piece is titled Kind of Blue after Miles Davis's uh, jazz piece. It's actually a Senegalese sister with, uh, it's done from a photograph and that her expression captivated me and I had to capture it on canvas. Okay, this piece is called Green Earth, but uh, many people just call it Half Face. Okay, this next piece is a little girl from Southern Ethiopia, from the Omo Valley region. It's called Surma Girl. Surma, not Summer, Surma after the tribe that she's from in Southern Ethiopia. Okay, this piece is called Metamorphosis. It's actually a portrait of the African-American man being brought here and put into this confined, cocoon-like circumstance and then breaking out. If you look closely, you can see the people. Many people sleep on this, they don't, they don't see that. If you look close, you can see that millions of us breaking out of this condition and metamorphing into the butterfly, the wings representing freedom, freedom of movement. The, the caterpillar lives a low life, eating the bitter leaves, until one day he falls out of that and becomes who he was born to be. And this is us, metamorphosis. Okay, this next piece is called Teach Him to Think. It's just a portrait of a little boy with enlightenment. Something very important. I love the doing uh, message-oriented pieces that teach, right? Teach him to think. Okay, this piece, like Metamorphosis, is uh, one of the favorites of uh, the people. It's called Lazarus Come Forth. And it's also a portrait of the African-American man. And it's actually speaking to a condition that we've been put in, wherein we're, we're no longer, there's no longer chains on our hands and feet. Our predecessors have put in work, we've struggled to knock down doors, tear down walls. We're free, but we're still not moving the way we need to be moved. This is a piece designed to stimulate conversation about our circumstance. Lazarus come forth. And these last two pieces are intensely Maasai, you can see by his expression, and Black gold. Okay, so these are some of my works. Uh, again, my name is Abdul Badi. Uh, I'm located in East New York, Brooklyn. And my website is artofabdulbadi.com. That's artofabdulbadi.com. And I have something for every budget. I'm a people's artist. I paint for you. Hello, Brick audience. My name is Willie Gray. I'm a member of the Fulton Art Fair. I've been a member for many years, several years, and uh, my medium here is photography. I uh, create my imagery, and then I print it on canvas. That process is, is now uh, being known as G-clays. These are all pieces of original art that uh, I'm happy to share with the uh, participants in the art fair and now with the brick audience. Um, my specialty in flowers is orchids. Um, my uh, orchid collection is called Orchid Portraits and can be found on snowflakephotography.smugmug.com. Please visit my site and let me know what you think. So this first piece uh, is a piece of uh, art 
that I created. It's a declay, as I said. Uh, that's an orchid. My focus is micro photography, and most of what you'll see here is of that uh, in that genre. So all of my pieces here are orchids, and um, they again are the driving force to my photography. I hope you like it. Okay, so what I showed you in the first image, or the first example, uh, I will show you some additional examples of orchids that are printed on canvas and that are known as G clays. These are all artist proofs, and uh, they are all ready to be hung. This example here is a different flower. Uh, it's one that caught my eye, it's a lily. And as you can tell, it's a very, very uh, luscious uh, piece of eye candy. And uh, while I do mostly orchids, I also do other things that uh, attract my, my, my lens and my eye. And this happened to be one of those. We continue beyond that one to another example or another two or three examples of orchids that uh, have been uh, captured by my lens and presented to you for your pleasure. Okay, so here again is another example of a micro, of a micro photography of an orchid. And uh, these next couple of examples are also uh, in that same genre. As you can see, nature is a beautiful thing, and I'm happy to be able to be the one to bring this to you uh, because it's so attractive to me. I want to thank you for visiting with us here at the Art Fair. Um, we're here tomorrow, Sunday, if you are able. Come on out and, and see us in person. If not, we are available for uh, events, uh, local events, private, church, school, um, events of any kind. You can reach me at willygray24 at gmail.com or at 917-748-5192. And thank you for visiting with us today.